how do you get family members or people to respect your boundaries? Well, that's on you. That's not on them. I mean, look, you teach people how to treat you, right? So if, if you want people to respect your boundaries, you got to teach them to respect your boundaries. And you do that by the consequences you give them when they violate those boundaries. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to learn this overnight or it's an easy teach, but you truly have to decide to pick your battles and decide that your boundaries are reasonable, but then you have to let them know, look, everybody has to have a place that they draw the line. This is mine, and it's not going to be okay if you violate this boundary, and you have to decide what you're going to do about it. Now, you don't say how old you are. You don't say whether you're a kid in this family or you're an adult in this family. You just say, I have a family, a non-understanding family. It's just unorganized when it comes to boundaries. You can be the organizer. You can decide, okay, I'm going to set my boundaries. And you've you got to be reasonable. You are part of a family, and that's part of a unit. And everybody has to get along together. You don't live alone. You live as part of a unit. And that means you got to have give and take. So it's not just you, and it's not all about you, and it's not going to revolve around you. But you are entitled to boundaries. You are entitled to privacy. Just recognize you are part of a unit. And so everything can't be just the way you want it to be. So with that thought in mind, with that understanding in mind, decide which battles you want to pick when. And respectfully, you don't want to go at them with your hair on fire yelling and screaming, just respectfully say, guys, I, I need to have some boundaries here, and I'm, I don't want to be unreasonable, and I'll certainly respect you. I want to give what I get, so I'm going to put this up as a fence line, and I'm going to ask you to respect that. And if you don't, we're going to have conflict, and I don't want that, but I've, I've got to put up a fence line here and decide what the consequence is going to be if they violate that. And here's the thing. Don't draw a line in the sand if you're not willing to have consequences when it's violated. Last thing in the world you want to do is say, if you violate this, I'm going to do A, B, or C, if you're not prepared to do A, B, or C. So don't rattle your saber. Don't say you're going to do something if you're not. If you say you're going to go get a lock put on your door, if you say it, be prepared to do it. If you say if they violate that, you're going to go out and sit in your car and mind your own business, don't say it if you're not willing to do it. Be sure the consequences that you put on the table you're willing to follow through on and stick with it. That's why I say pick your battles, think about it ahead of time, and remember you're part of a unit. The world doesn't revolve around you. That's my advice. 